Hi everyone, I have another prophetic word that was given to me on November the 13th, 2019. And this message is strictly for those that have had an abortion. The Holy Spirit said for me to name it, I will forgive you. Children, I am a God that hears your prayers and I have forgiven you. You will not be humiliated for coming to me. You are not giving the problem to me. You are still struggling to overcome the shame of committing this sin. When you decide to let go and let me have control of the matter, you will see that I am in the position to forgive you. Who can give a human such as you a chance to have a child in your womb when you have had an abortion? I have come to give life and give it more abundantly. If you stop feeling guilty and come to me and let me help you with this problem, I will heal your heart. I am not judging you for what you have done. I am going to help you get over this pain and shame that you're experiencing. I can help you get over this. Come to me and I will heal you. You are not alone in your condition. I will be with you in your time of trouble. All I ask is that you come to me and ask for help. And the scriptures that he gave was John the 8th chapter 3 through 11, Matthew the 11th chapter 28 through 29. And John the 8th chapter is basically about Mary Magdalene. Um, she was called in the midst of committing adultery and the Pharisees and some other Jews came forth with stones in their hand. They were getting ready to stone her and they took the matter before Jesus. And Jesus said to them, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. So they all one by one threw their stones down to the ground. And in the end, all of them were gone. And he asked her, you know, woman, where, where are your accusers? And he asked him, have any condemned thee? And she said, no. He said, well, then neither do I. And he told her, go and sin no more. She was forgiven. So basically, um, that just kind of sums up your um, the matter. Basically, uh, you've already went to him. You've already confessed this. You've repented of it. He has forgiven you. Now you're free. Get up. Get your dignity back. Drop the guilt at his feet. When you get up, leave that guilt and shame there because that's of Satan. He does that. He, he, it's, it's just another form of torment. And what you have to do, you have to use the word on Satan. That's how you put him to flight. Jesus used it three times in the wilderness. And that third time he got the hint and he got stepping. So every time he tried to use the guilt and the shame on you, you quote John the eighth chapter, the third through the eleventh verse on him. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone because he is full of sin. <laughs> and if anybody in man's form come at you doing the same thing, you quote the same scripture on them. And if you have to use that scripture every day, if you have to speak it out loud until you get your dignity back and until you get your confidence back, use it every day until you get your comfort confidence up you know and Matthew the 11th chapter basically speaks about he's saying come to me all you that are laden and heavy laden and I'll give you rest he wants to give you rest from your torment because Satan is using the guilt and the shame to torment you sisters let it go give it to Jesus stop feeling guilty you can't change the past God does not live in the past once you Repent of that sin and you come to him and you give it to him. It's as though it never even happened. So the same way he treats you as though it never happened, you have got to forgive yourself. That is the problem. That's what's causing the guilt and the shame to remain. It is because you haven't forgiven yourself. It's the same as when we don't forgive others and we start tormenting Um Evil spirits come through that and use that unforgiveness in our heart to start afflicting pain on us um, and torment to attack your mind. Um, all, all they, they get other spirits and bring them through that door. Well, when you are not forgiving yourself, it's the same thing. Um, Satan is using that unforgiveness in your heart to torment you. 
So you have to forgive yourself. The Bible says there is not a righteous man upon the face of the earth that sinneth not. And then there's a scripture that says that a righteous man falleth six times, yea, and seven, God picks him up and he upholds him with his right hand and he'll forgive him. And I'm paraphrasing that, but that's basically what it says. So once you have repented of that sin and God has forgiven you, no man can stand in judgment of you. Not one. So... Um, and I'm definitely not standing in judgment um, of you at all because I have committed sins myself. So sin is sin. It may be a different sin, but it's still sin in God's eyes. And God forgave me. So he forgave you. He forgave me. And once you repent of that sin, nobody has the right to condemn you for it at all. So ladies, please drop the guilt and the shame at his feet and pick up your dignity hold your head up high and keep it moving in jesus name god bless you